Welcome to another session in Tech Tutorial video for Microsoft Excel Basic Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about number formats in Microsoft Excel. Different number formats in Excel are General, Number, Currency, Accounting, Date, Time, Percentage, Fraction, Scientific and Text. Let's check out the details of each one of them. For available number format, check out the number section on the ribbon under the Home tab. We can see a list of number formats from here. The one currently I have selected is General Format. General format is a free format where it will stay the way you type in the data into a cell. For example, we can type in text, numbers, numbers with decimal points, combination of text, symbol and number. Next format is number. Number formats are for any kind of numbers, like it could be a round number or decimal number. Decimal part of a number can be controlled by increased decimal or decreased decimal. So let's try to decrease the decimal point of the number I have currently selected and we will try to increase the decimal part of the number next to it. To change format of a cell just select the cell and select the desired format. It is best practice to keep your numbers in number format if they are used in different calculation otherwise you can get unexpected result. Next thing we will talk about currency and accounting. Currency and accounting is a format which allows you to apply currency specific formatting for a sale. For example we can apply currency symbol like dollar. If we want to apply any other currency symbol those are available here. Some of them are available in the quick list like euro if you are looking for any other currency that is not in the quick list you can go here in the more accounting formats and you can choose from the list like rupee for Indian currency. Format currency and accounting are pretty much same with little bit of difference. To explain the difference I have a little chart over here. One is for currency another for accounting. Some of the similarities between currency and accounting format are both can take uh, currency symbol, decimal points, thousand separators and negative numbers. Now difference between currency and accounting format is that in currency format the currency symbol comes closer to the number and in accounting the currency symbol goes to the leftmost part of the cell. In currency a zero value is shown as zero. In accounting a zero value is shown as a dash. In currency a negative number is shown as a negative symbol before the number starts. In accounting a negative number is shown within a parenthesis. You can use currency or accounting format based on the way you want your numbers to appear. Also, I mean, you can do further customization of the look and feel of your numbers that we will see later. Let's have a look at date and time format. Let me type in a date today's date and as you can see that as soon as I enter the date 
Microsoft Excel identifies that it's a date and changes the format from general to a date format. And there are two different type of date format. One is sort date which is currently being selected and there is a long date. So as soon as you select the long date it will convert your date with the day of the week, month, date and the year and again the format of the date is further customizable let's try the time format over here i'm going to type in some time as soon as i typed in it changed the format of the field as custom i'm going to select the time from the list and it's been converted into a PM time. Next we will try a percentage format. Let me type in something over here. And I will select the percentage format and it has changed to 3% next format fraction is to display a fractional number suppose I have a number 1.5 if I select that and select the fraction it will change to one and half next format scientific is to represent a number in scientific way for example if I have a number 200 and I change it to a scientific format then it will be shown as 2 into 10 to the power 2 the next format text is to keep cell values as a text we cannot do any arithmetic operation on a text field now it's time for tip of the session many times it can happen that you have some numbers that you want to add but the summation is showing up as zero you have a proper sum function over here but you are not getting any result the main reason for this is that the fields you have over here are not really numbers these fields are text format so that's why you are not able to sum up your numbers and also it is possible that in some of the fields you have leading space or trailing space so how to solve this problem there are several ways you can do it here I'm going to show you three different ways to solve this problem okay solution one select all your numbers there will be a little box appearing over here click on the little arrowhead and select convert to number and now you got a result I will try solution two for this set of numbers let's type in some ones in blank columns select all of them right click copy select your numbers right click paste special select multiply and say ok and here you got your summation let's try our solution 3 on this set of numbers select all these numbers go to the data tab use text to columns make sure that delimited is selected here the next delimiters tab should be selected next general then say finish and we got our summation so this is all I have for today's session I will come up with some other tutorials to talk about advanced customization of different formats you can say I like it or I dislike it here down below
you can subscribe to my channel using the subscribe button over here if you have any comment question or suggestion i would love to hear them please use the comment section below thank you for watching tech tutorial video see you again in another session